Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We've been going through the Psalms this month, highlighting some of the Psalms of Thanksgiving. Today, on Thanksgiving Day, I want to look at a couple of verses from Psalm 50, verses 14 and 15. This Psalm was written by Asaph, or someone who wrote it on his behalf. Asaph was one of the music leaders for King David. These two verses, 14 and 15, say, Sacrifice thank offerings to God, and fulfill your vows to the Most High, and call on me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you, and you will honor me. If we examine these two verses, there are three instructions from God in these. The first is to give thank offerings to Him. This is not the same as the ceremonial burnt offerings. This is a higher offering to God. It's offering Him great thanks. In Hebrews 13, 15, we can read that through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess His name. This is a higher offering than the ceremonial offerings because there is heart behind it. It is a heart of genuine gratitude. Offering animal sacrifices would have just become ritualistic practice and religious in nature, whereas lifting up to the Lord with great thanks would be more spiritual, more intimate. So that was the first thing that he was asking of us in this passage. The second was to fulfill your vows to the Lord. We all make promises to God in various ways, different circumstances. Sometimes those bargaining deals, God, if you help me out of this or help me do this, then I will, whatever it is. These are our vows to the Lord. And we're told to make sure that we fulfill our vows. Deuteronomy 23, 21 says, if you make a vow to the Lord your God, do not be slow to pay it, for the Lord your God will certainly demand it of you, and it, you will be guilty of sin. Just as the Lord fulfills His commitments to us, we in turn should fulfill our commitments to Him, or just don't make them in the first place. Sometimes we're more concerned about not letting people down than we are with not letting down the Lord. Yet it is God who provides all in all circumstances, and we know he, we can rely on Him. So as we give thanks, one way we can do this is to be faithful to our commitments to Him. The third thing that we're told to do in this passage is to call on God during the times of trouble. When things go wrong in our lives, when we go through these valleys and trouble knocks on the door, we're quick to go to others around us. But here it tells us, just go to the Lord first, and He will deliver us. He may not pull us out of a situation. He may not reverse the trouble, but He will provide for us the strength to endure, the strength to push through the valley and out the other side. It may not be the solution that we expected, or even that we could have predicted, but the Lord works all things for the good of those who love Him and have been called to His purpose. And for this, we can always be thankful. So as we go through today, we can find ways to thank the Lord, to sacrifice thank offerings to, the, to God, offerings that have genuine heartfelt gratitude. And as the last line says, and then we will honor Him. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and I hope to see you this Sunday for the final part of our Psalms of Thanksgiving series.